Oh, wow, it's been so long since I filmed. I don't have Stinky howling in the background because he's right here taking a little nap. How's it going? Oh, it's been weeks. It has actually been weeks and I'm only gonna be in this apartment for a few more weeks. So there'll be better things behind me, better lighting. It'll be great. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I decided to share some of my spring favorites. Now, this will include bags. The ultimate, for me, spring bag. But it is mostly around other things because I'm gonna have a whole other dedicated video for my favorite luxury bags for spring. For spring, oh, gosh, can't talk today. <laughs> this is gonna be a great one. <laughs> It's also gonna show off some of my favorite spring dresses, how I like to style those bags, just like in mod shots and whatnot. Cause if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know my affinity for floral, ultra girly dresses. I feel like springtime is spring and fall. That's when I can enjoy my wardrobe the most because I'm not just constantly battling the elements. Like I'm not desperately trying to stay warm or prevent being a sweaty, swampy mess. So I can actually have fun with my clothes and my handbags and do all the good stuff. But I'm either like in the springtime, most of all, I am jumping from really sporty tomboy looks, joggers, t-shirt, baseball cap, you know, to ultra feminine, like re, super girly, really like obnoxiously girly. But I will say even my really girly clothes, I think they have like a tomboy sensibility to them. I don't know if that makes sense, but even though they look really girly, they're all quite functional and comfortable. I can move in them. I don't wear things anymore where I feel restricted. We've been living in sweatpants for the last year, so I can't, I can't deal with that anyway. <laughs> anyway, so to get started, my favorite shoes for spring. I have been loving these pink velvet loafers. They're a little <laughs> dusty because I, I had them out and my cats will rub on everything over the night. But my favorite shoes for spring have to be these and then my Manolo Blahnik block heels. They're just a great shoe. I think they're really comfortable. I've had these for easily three years. I'm tempted to say four or five. I've walked miles in them, but I kind of gave them a little bit of a break in my wardrobe. I wasn't reaching for them too much over the last two years. I love them. I knew I wouldn't get rid of them. Just a little side note. I really want to do, <laughs> I really want to do a video all about style mistakes I've made. And I think one mistake I made was just always adhering to black shoes, black bag. Now, if that's what people like, that's cool. But I really like mixing other textures now. I just didn't think I could. I, I don't know why, I just had this like rule in my head and I was so happy when I broke away from it. One thing I like about velvet shoes, velvet, I don't know, like textured, colorful shoes really, is because you can wear any kind of bag with it, you know? It, to me, it always matches, but in my head before, you, you couldn't wear it with anything because I, what am I gonna wear, like a pink velvet bag? I don't know, it was such a silly thing, but I literally stuck to black bags, black shoes, brown bags, brown shoes. It was so silly. Moving on to something I thought I would never talk about on my channel, but I've been living in them and I love them, so I have to share them. <sighs> Underwear. I love these bras. I went to Victoria's Secret a couple weeks ago looking specifically for wireless bras. I didn't know what they had, but frankly, I was just kind of fed up with underwires and I wanted something preferably really seamless. Now this is probably the ugliest bra I could ever wear. It's not remotely sexy, but that's cool. I'm just doing it for really the, how it looks underneath clothes. So this is a black one. I'll try to find the names down below, um, but I find the Victoria's Secret website really annoying to navigate. But they also have a nude one, which I wear a ton. Again, the ugliest thing, no offense to Victoria's Secret, but really just like, it looks decent on, you know? It just, it's, they're, they're so comfortable. <laughs> It'll, I mean, they look hideous, you know, with me just holding them up but they are so, so comfortable. They're really supportive. I have a bigger chest, so I didn't really, I can't wear most bralettes, most flirty little lacy bralette thingies, 
They come in two sizes where it's supposed to fit a range because they're so uh, stretchy. I got the size, it was like the extra small to medium. Um, and then they have, I think, I guess like large to extra extra large. Um, I'll have to double check that. But what I like best about them is they're very comfortable and they're totally seamless. You know how you get, when you're wearing a bra sometimes, you get that line visible through your clothes. It's, it's like the panty line of the chest. I just, ugh. I, one thing I really like this is just, you, you don't say anything. It's just, it looks like a natural feminine shape and totally smooth. Um, Hopefully that makes sense, but I'm planning on putting in pictures so that you can just see what I mean. Underneath clothes. <laughs> Up next, another thing that I got there. This one is a little bit cuter, flirtier, whatever you want to say, because it has that v-neck. Um, again, really nice. I've worn it underneath this sweater, for example, and you can't tell a difference. In fact, I'm, I'm wearing one of these right now, but in like a plum, like a deep plum shade. I just really like that it's seamless and it's so comfortable. It's got like some natural bounce, but, but plenty of support. Okay, I really need to stop talking about underwear on my channel because I don't know how to do it. Anyway, moving along with my next thing. My favorite item for spring has to be a jean jacket. I return to this every spring and fall. I love them. I mean, you know, I don't know, classic American, right? I love denim jackets. I especially like to put little pins on them just because I think they're they're fun and cool and it makes something that could be a uh, very old lady, you know, very young and fresh. I really like them over the really feminine uh, dresses just as another layer. And again, I feel like it's a cooler layer than having a cardigan over a really feminine dress because then it's just it's so polished and even I can find my limits. I love a good cardigan, but I feel like a denim jacket is just a little bit cooler. Continuing on with my layers for spring, my favorite thing to reach for, my two tops. If I'm not wearing a dress, I'm wearing one of these, either a silky camisole or a linen shirt. I will wear this also in the summertime because I'm quite fair and I burn very easily. I really like it because I can tie it up at the waist, I can wear it with a skirt, I can have it knotted over top of like a white flowy dress, but linen is just really great, really comfortable. I got this one at the Polo Outlet. They're decent, I like them a little oversized. J. Crew just came out with some really nice ones and you can definitely get those at 40% off, but typically I just roll up the sleeves. I don't, the, one of the nice things about linen is you don't have to wash it every single time unless you're getting super sweaty, which absolutely happens to me. But I will just steam them because that will kill any bacteria, it just freshens it up. And, you know, if you don't want it to be, if you're not concerned about it being uh, very smooth and tidy, you don't have to steam it or iron it after every wash. But it, it will be quite wrinkly. Silk and linen, I mean, that's just what it's gonna do. I've talked about these silk camisoles a million times, I don't need to tell you much more about it, but obviously it's from Lily Silk. I like them for basics, but I have a number of other brands. This is just one of the most affordable, accessible, um, best variety of colors. You know, I think, it's, I think it's just a really decent brand, and I've had this for about a year now, and it still looks good. Yeah, it still looks great. I wear it under cardigans, I wear it when I'm hanging out in the house. Something you might not know. Um, I think generally a lot of houses in New England they don't have uh, air conditioning. They don't necessarily have air conditioning built in because you don't necessarily need it, especially if you're on a bottom floor apartment. That's a really good tip if you're ever moving to this area and something I learned. It stays very cool. We only have a window unit in our bedroom and really only need it a few months out of the year, which was not true in DC, I can tell you that much. But the reason I bring that up is because when I'm hanging out at home, this pair of jeans, or a pair of just like comfy joggers or something. It's very comfortable. For accessories for spring, my favorite has to be the silk scarves. I didn't really reach for these in the winter time too much just because I needed something warmer obviously, but these, these can be really warm, especially if you like layer it underneath a coat. But I've been reaching for this a ton. It looks good under the denim jacket, especially because I love that contrast with the blue and the yellow. Yeah, 
It, it's great. Another spring accessory that I have been loving is my little Bottega wallet. I have used this loads since I bought it. It's been pretty much my go-to wallet. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I don't have a lot of SLGs. I just don't want to spend a lot of money in that area because I'd rather delegate it elsewhere. And they really can add up. I feel like you see so many YouTubers say like, oh my goodness, I accumulated so many small leather wallets and pouches because, you know, they'll come in all the fun colors, they'll be at a more accessible price point, and then suddenly you have a dozen of the same thing. So I am trying to keep that really small, but I love this one. I was a little nervous about getting something in lambskin, something that, you know, just gets thrown in a bag, but it's, it's perfect. There's no marks on it. Finally, for handbags. Now I said I wasn't gonna go too much into handbags because I wanna have a whole dedicated video for handbags and what I like to wear them with for spring, but to share two items with you, which, I mean, it would just be wrong not to mention them. Favorites for spring, I, tell me if you could have guessed this in the comments down below, but I just got this, what, a few weeks ago and I have worn it several times a week every single week. I love it, it's the perfect size. I can wear it with what I'm wearing right now, which is jeans, sweater. I have worn it with jeans, there's no color transfer on the back, and that's because this is a treated leather, genuine leather can be quite good for that. It's, you know, you just wipe it clean. It's a completely smooth texture, so, you know, there's no pebbled um, natural calf skin, which will soak up the leather, the color more easily. But this is just super light. Honestly, in the springtime, really year round, the things I'm doing most often are it's taking like really long walks with Ben, my husband. We go out a ton, we'll walk a good six to eight miles just through our local town. And this is a really good option because it's quite light. I can fit my wallet. Uh, I can fit a very slim uh, pair of sunglasses in here, I think. But otherwise it just holds my keys, my wallet. I keep a tiny little sunscreen with me because we're usually out for several hours. And also we live along the coast and it's super windy here. I learned the hard way that sun hats just don't really work. It, uh, it either has to be a baseball cap, which messes up my hair and I am that vain, I guess sometimes. But I, I like to have a pair of sunglasses uh, in here, a tiny little chapstick, my keys, my mask can fit, and then a little sunscreen, and I'm good. My phone is usually in here or in my pocket. Ooh, actually, I need to get a new phone soon. The one I want is too long. So I, I'm, that's how much I love my handbags. I, I don't really care about tech nearly as much, and I'm gonna just get a different phone that fits my handbags. This is quite small. Um, I, I am going to do a full dedicated review to this soon, but like a maxi phone, no way. It, uh, any like the plus big phones, it probably would not fit in here. But more about in that review. To wrap up my ultimate spring bag, let me know if you could have guessed this one as well. This is my spring bag. I got this last summer, I wanna say July, and it was already, I mean, it's hot up here in July. July and August, it can get pretty humid. I'm a sweaty swamp monster anyway, so I don't want to ruin the the leather by getting my grimy sunscreen sweaty shoulders on it. That's just uh, <laughs> the least I can do to protect this bag. So springtime is really where this shines and I was thrilled to get to use it again. Obviously, I'm mostly reaching for my silk dresses. Regardless of the color, I haven't had any color transfer problems. I have a lot of navy silk dresses, and just because it's the nature of the fabric, it's quite smooth, you don't have to worry about the friction as much, so there's still no color transfer. I think it's just the really, it's the easiest way to take care of a white handbag, just if you happen to wear things that go well with it. An outfit that would have been featured all the time on my Instagram is this long cream colored cardigan. I wear one of my lily silk tank tops under it and it's a really dressy but I think comfortable look uh, and I, I do like to dress down the classic flaps as much as I can. I like dressing a little bit more formally but I don't want it to ever look stiff if that makes sense. So yes, this is my ultimate favorite bag for spring, even though it doesn't get the most use, even though I've reached for that coach one way more, I just, I feel giddy when I get to use this. And I, 
I, I think that counts for something. I'm never gonna have a huge Chanel collection, so the things I do have, I want to be really special. <sighs> oh, we got through it. I got through my first video in a few weeks, and I don't think I hate it. I guess we'll see how I feel about editing it. Stinky hasn't cried, the cat feeders haven't gone off, there haven't been any fire alarms. That's, that's good. This is a good day. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me if you've made it this far. I really do appreciate it. I'd love it if you would like and subscribe and see what else we can chat about. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!